Hello there, my name is Lena. I have been practicing Wing Chun Kung Fu for many years. Today I am going to explain you the Four Corners Theory in Wing Chun. The Four Corners Theory is very important in Wing Chun. Using the knowledge of this theory, you can easily determine how to protect yourself against any strike. Remember the hands position in the basic stance. The elbow of your front hand must remain at a some distance from the body. That is the distance between the thumb and little finger. This distance. The palm of your rear hand must be near the elbow of your forward hand. Remember the immovable theory, namely the boundary lines. The high line is at the eyebrows. The lowest one is located near the groin area. The width of the boundary is the width of your shoulders, or little more. According to the immovable elbow theory, your hands must do all movements in these bodies. There are four grades. Each of them has the same area. We have outside high gate, inside high gate, Outside low gate, inside low gate. For example, any attack to the outside high gate will be blocked to the outside. Also, any attacks to the inside gate, both high and low, will be blocked inward. In general, your defense arm moves towards your opponent's offensive arm. After touching it, you must continue your hand movement in the same direction. And stop your defense movement when your arm reaches one of the boundary lines. Remember the hands position in the basic stance. We have forward and rear arm, so there are two main areas, the forward and the rear ones. It will be seen in a side view, so we have high forward area, high rear area, low forward area, low rear area. It is desirable to block any attack with your forward arm. If you do not have time to defense with your forward arm, you can use your back hand. It can be done in an extreme case. Why? Because you have very little time to reflect attacks with your back hand. Performing your defense movements, look where your arms are. It's desirable to have one hand in a high area and another one in a low area. Now we review all variants of defensive movements. It will be eight variants. Outside high grade forward. This is an example of a forward outside high block with the forward hand. Executing such kind of defense, keep blocking arm high and the rear one must be near the solar plexus. Inside high gate forward. You can use a slab block. So. 
Outside, low grade forward. I perform a low outer wrist block with the forward hand. Inside, low grade, forward. You must press by the palm of your defensive arm on your opponent attacking hand, like this. Outside, high grade, rear. It is a rare slab block executing with the rear hand. Inside high gate rear. This palm up block can be performed with a stride punch of another hand. Outside, low grade, rear. I perform a low outer wrist block with the rear hand. Inside, low grade rear. You must press by the palm of your defense arm on your opponent attacking hand, like this. That's all for today. See you later. Bye-bye.